everybody, welcome back to the episode last day on a survival. Today we return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, that's your favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today's bucket code is gonna be 04801 at the time of me putting that in. If that's out of date by the time you try to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version brought to you by the favorite fantastic community here at the Stipe Gang. But without further ado, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, first off. The raiders we actually have a raid over here on the map but second off we're also going to be making a pit stop we got a whole ton of stuff to be opening we got a blind one to be a murdering and we also got some first aid kits that we got to get to copping but i think that we should be fine because the green and yellow crates should be giving us some of those so we're gonna be doing some of that and we do have a raid lined up we actually already talked to the raiders and set that stuff up so we are going to be visiting players 79 90 over in a little bit but first things first we got some loot to open up at the bunker let's get to headed over there and boom let's get to talking over this amazing thing that was posted earlier over in the discord so we're gonna be talking about a couple of things There's actually a second thing that i really want to show you guys that it actually somehow surprisingly when you think about it is gonna be connected to this but without further ado let's dive in nobody knew for sure what was happening at the kenneth's farm the dead from all around were gathering there there were rumors it all began when john z and his son started to burn rotten corn black smoke rose over their farm that day it was unusually acrid acrid I, i've never seen that word in my life and although the trace of that bonfire can no longer be found the number of the dead dwelling at the farm has been growing since then for a while jonesy cannon and his sons were defending themselves survivors say they could hold them off for a week later then they left supposedly they went south jonesy's van was found by soldiers at sector seven it was in perfect working order and all stuffed with corn as for the kennets they are still reported missing they say somebody found a note at their farm which was believed to be written by old jonesy himself it said if you came to rob old jonesy's house this is where i left the most valuable things for you i hope you can run from my friends at the barn good luck so what we are seeing and then the image that we are seeing is what appears to be jonesy and a couple of his sons they look like they're kitted out holy hell we're gonna get to that in just the gif first things first though let's go over some of this text and some of the very important things that they give us so super obviously it's giving us some background info there are a little bit less apparent things though that i'm going to be going over and what they may be meaning but as we are seeing it appears that the them burning their rotten corn dude that rotten corn may literally have had something to do with the whole zombie apocalypse happening because the zombies for whatever reason were freaking attracted to this rotten corn maybe because somehow like it was starting the infection or something that's kind of what it appears to be alluding to with the fact that they're saying that like oh the number of the dead at the farm has been growing since then so there's some kind of like weird property over at that farm and then over near the end where they were talking about the note which was believed to be written by old jonesy himself that someone supposedly found saying if you came to rob old jonesy's house this is where i left the most valuable things for you i hope you can run for my friends in the barn that is pretty much confirmation that they are talking about the specific farm that already exists in a last day on earth they are talking about this one over here because the barn is actually where a couple of friends are uh ready to swarm out and absolutely destroy you and you might be like oh but that's only a couple they're swarming the farm but that kind of adds up because they're saying like what he's saying is that he probably trapped a couple of those last zombies over in the barn and then when they left it was probably empty but with the whole property of the farm that we found out that zombies for some reason are attracted over there due to something having to do with that rotten corn that makes sense it kind of like justifies why the farm is constantly respawning and what's going on in that barn but i think the more important thing is actually in that second paragraph that we were going over saying for a while jonesy cannon and his sons were defending themselves survivors say they could hold off for a week later then they left supposedly they went south with his van being found by soldiers with, with sect at sector seven so that's where it gets a little bit weird because it doesn't add up for the van to be found over there unless they took like some kind of super convoluted route or something along those lines so i mean the mathematic geometry doesn't entirely add up but what it does do is give us kind of a cliffhanger similar to the one we've been seeing with carlos rudy and given the fact that this is like kind of the main thing like they've been teasing carlos rudy they've been teasing they confirm clans are coming in the next update so what if this is all part of some massive package because by the looks of it they're really expanding on the story behind last day on earth a lot by introducing a lot of these characters and giving a lot of reasons but uh back to what i was saying right they said that they found the van in perfect working condition and stuffed with corn meaning that the jonesies are most likely 
out and about somewhere or they became zombified in the middle of their drive wherever they were heading to i think those are kind of like the main two hypotheses for what ended up happening with these dudes so in the case where they did survive it's actually gonna be really interesting to see if we can't be able to run across them at some point in time in the future because uh they appear to be pretty loaded i'd love to be talking to some of these characters and especially as the quest system is likely being worked on because as you've seen with a lot of other mobile survival games like westland survival is currently working on a quest system what we often see is that other mobile survival games those features eventually like end up cross-pollinating their way into last day on earth because they are, are are all running on the same engine and stuff so honestly i think this backlog of characters they're introducing is really foreshadowing to a ton of characters that we'll maybe be able to encounter in some sort of future quest system being incorporated into last day on earth because they're really trying to flesh out the story really trying to actually get backstory here but so not only the fact that these guys might be out there somewhere we might be able to encounter them but on the other hand they mentioned this van which was found by soldiers at sector seven so we've actually seen a van event before in another mobile survival game we've seen it in jurassic survival and at that van event it's kind of like it's a it's a relatively unique event it's not really like one we've seen although it does give you like a variety of loot enemies try to swarm you during it etc etc so i wonder if kind of like similar to that cross-pollination stuff that i was talking about that we've seen in the past maybe this is foreshadowing that van coming as an event of itself but finally let's go ahead let's actually start talking about that photo and the fact that we can see a variety of interesting things obviously we have the whole farm in the background which is looking absolutely just ravaged but we can actually go ahead take a peek at their guns and we see something very interesting now over on the left whichever son that is just appears to be holding some kind of generic Kalashnikov 47 nothing too crazy but the other two characters are holding weapons we have yet to see in game they appear to be some sort of I'm not I'm not entirely sure exactly specifically what weapon that is but that is not like any weapon we've seen it appears to be some sort of like single shot slash semi-automatic like slower firing it does not look like it's some kind of fully auto weapon it looks like it might be like a bolt action or something like that potentially with sniper capabilities we're seeing the one on the left actually has a scope on it whereas the one on the right has nothing I think this is foreshadowing some sort of new weapon that may be coming to last day on earth because we've never seen anything like this before we've seen last day on earth really start to like add in more and more weapons especially now that the attachment system is in game and what we're seeing in this photo lines up perfectly with that attachment system because we're seeing a sight over there on the left and nothing on the right and this is not the winchester by the looks of it either because it's not lever action it doesn't have like that lever you have to pull after every shot meaning that this could very well be a new weapon coming it's the last day on earth if you guys know what specifically type of weapon this is that'd be dope to hear but definitely something to look out for with those two guns that those two are holding because in the world of last day technically speaking these guys are in the world of last day which means these guns should be in the world of last day as well but it's gonna wrap it up for that first piece of information and boom let's go ahead and get to talking about the second information and the way that it kind of connects to what we've seen so this was posted earlier as well and along with it it said autumn is time to harvest with kind of a little bit of like a cheeky emoji like kind of like just like I, I don't know like one of those kind of like sneaky deaky kafir type of emojis they do not necessarily like the wink wink one but it's kind of like a cert it's like a custom emoji from their discord server but it's kind of like the similar it's it's foreshadowing to stuff and i think this actually connects in an interesting way to what we just saw last because what we saw last was the farm the weapon that this person is utilizing is the scythe the scythe is only capable to be found over at the farm and for some reason in this game or in this clip the zombies are running away from our character this is a mechanic that we've only really seen in one other mobile survival game this is what we've seen in grim soul survival so actually in grim soul survival there is a scroll that you can use that will make enemies fear you and run away so it appears that this is utilizing similar gameplay mechanics to that however this like there's not really like a scroll mechanic like i'm not entirely sure why this is happening but given the season we're what about like pretty close to a month month and a half away from halloween halloween is one of the events kafir has done in the past they haven't been focusing on seasonal events in the past before but this could be foreshadowing that because when we have seen events we've also seen very specific uh consumable items that we can utilize such as those that maybe uh make enemies run away from us or make us like slow down enemies like we've seen a lot of custom things come 
game. And I think that this might be lining up with that and we might be seeing some sort of that coming with a limited time item that allows us to, for some reason, make zombies run away from us or it's going to be some sort of permanent gameplay mechanic. But I can't really come up with a rational explanation for that and usually events do kind of give a little bit more of an irrational kind of like temporary way. But if this is somehow in the natural ecosystem of how items occur and we can somehow gain this ability, maybe it's like a new dealer ability from talking to him, that would be absolutely dope. But again, I just think it's really interesting because it does have that kind of connection and connotation to the farm. We've seen something with the farm over in that last sneak peek we were just talking about. I think that there might be another update coming to the farm, potentially with those new characters, just because it, this, this, I don't know, dude, there's just this, this suspicious connection between farm related things. You know, maybe it's complete and utter coincidence, but I don't know, man. That's pretty random to one day be talking about the farm and the next have the scythe coming out and say that it's harvest season. It's definitely lining up a little bit, and if it is harvest season, no better place to harvest than the farm itself. But I'd love to hear what you guys got to say in that comment section down below regarding what I have just shared with y'all. Whether it be you guys' own original thoughts, your guys' thoughts on my thoughts, any of that type of jazz, and or by the country third of the way, it's a weird time dollar. And to such place, store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do is always make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That's where you would on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter not every single last night of the video. When Saturday rolls around, pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And Zet will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday. As also make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information, such as that of which we are sharing today. Not to mention the latest and greatest of update gameplay as well because as soon as those new updates are coming and we already know that there is that clan update lurking in 1.9.7 that we will be getting and potentially dude with some of these other things they're teasing some of this like backstory related stuff carlos rudy and his diaries slash magazines the farmers and their van being left over it's a lot of world building and if we see this world building incorporated it's gonna be very interesting so as soon as that update comes out you guys know that we are gonna be swarming the bejesus out of it doing everything that we can doing the nuttiest things that we can and hopefully helping y'all in your quest to conquer them as well not to mention that it's a great way of going ahead and making sure to keep up to date with every single video that y'all could go ahead and enter in on for that weekly giveaway that i was talking about and of course it's a dope way of staying up to date with all the latest and greatest of survival games that we are posting over here on the channel because uh, i like my survival games in case y'all haven't uh, gotten the hint over there so all in all a pretty dope investment hope y'all do participate and uh without further ado we got some blind one murdering to participate within as well we gonna be doing exactly that we also gonna be eating up a little bit of this because i'm getting a little bit hungry and uh yeah we got some enemies to take down so hi diddly ho there fast biter oh fast biter number two you getting the exact same treatment as mr number one so we gotta go ahead and die into the depths of floor three and take down the blind one we'll be getting some hard mode items from this adventure which is always good so we can build up towards that floppy disk and on top of it 10 red tickets which will be enough to bring our total up to 30 which is going to be enough to pop open that red ticket crate and hopefully enough i'm crossing my fingers game please give me what i want and what i want is a little bit of that c4 from a little bit of that red crate but for now all that i want is the blood and tears of my adversaries mainly the fast biter over here we got the puppy out and about helping us to play as well which is very nice you know gotta gotta bring him out gotta let him exercise i've been dude we've been getting so many turkeys as of late i've been able to keep my dogs fed a lot more often which is a great thing like i, I don't mind getting stacks of turkeys on raids honestly it's a it's a very nice thing because a stack of turkeys i have a full dog pen to the max it lasts for like pretty much six hours dude that is amazing so a lot of our pups are growing up and hopefully we'll be able to go on a breeding spree soon and get ourselves a lot of like level four dogs hopefully more true friend dogs with like better other perks to go along with them so very interesting stuff that we are definitely keeping our eyes on but the main thing that i want to keep my eye on is some of that stuff that we were talking about today man it's very interesting to see zombies running away from us like i i was kind of like i was kind of wondering like maybe it's some kind of mod for the reaper or like for the scythe but then it's like eh, i don't really know if there's gonna be a mod that's gonna make want to like run away from us you know that's got to be some kind of consumable that is making those zombies run away because that's never like a functionality we've really seen maybe we've seen something like that during one of the holiday events where we have seen some kind of like goofier things happen which is again why i'm kind of leaning towards this maybe foreshadowing either some sort of holiday event or like I was saying, some of that uh, farm stuff, and honestly, I'd, lo I'd love me a little bit of farm stuff, man. If I could encounter some of those new characters, 
Ooh la la. Especially if they drop some of those weapons, dude. That's that's the thing that's really keeping things interesting. It's that whole new weapon angle, too, man. We've never seen a weapon like that. And personally, especially if we're gonna mod it, there's it's it might be a very interesting weapon, man. I mean, we saw that we can toss a scope on it. Hopefully, we can toss a little bit more than that. But uh, we will need to see. We are also up to five of these. I think I may have left some of those healing things actually up in that yellow ticket crate now that I think about it. Little bit of a boo-boo over there for me. Yeah, I never actually checked what was in that yellow ticket crate. You know, I'm gonna do that real quick because I might need some heals. And the turret didn't give us anything. Uh, let's see what's over here in this chest quickly. And then I'll go and see what was over in... Hey, That's what I like to see. That's some pretty good stuff. But yeah, I'll check what is over in the yellow ticket crate really quickly. So BRB. Ooh, I didn't open the doorway to that yet, right? Okay, good, because I don't want- I'm, I'm a smelly boy, alright? I'm a smelly lad. I don't want the frenzy giant to be all like, Suppressor, I'm coming for you, smelly one. No, 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 no. Don't- don't come after the smelly one. Go after the blind one. Help me in my conquest to kill that lad. But yeah, man, I- I want those new characters. And honestly, I could see them, like, even being incorporated as NPCs if there is a quest system. Let's freaking go! We're getting some good stuff, some engine parts, some gasoline, some... I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip the tactical armor because... I mean, we're gonna be using a medkit after every round of the blind one's shots anyways, so... I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world to just be uh, absorbing them with this because then he does exactly 100 damage. Each of his hits is 20, he does five hits, so this is kind of ideal and hopefully we'll be able to take him out in time. We do have some shot to go to rain to help us out in that quest. So until we get to the blind one, I'll be trying to utilize some of these bandages. So hopefully I don't do anything goofy because I don't usually use bandages. It's gonna explore territory, boys and girls. But uh, things should still be coming up a pretty millhouse, so that is nice. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, I especially with that quest system potentially being worked in as Kind of like a thing we've seen from Westland Survival that is, I, I personally think, especially from what we've seen, likely to transition to Last Day on Earth. I think a quest system would be huge and give a huge sense of direction, kind of like give people, you know, certain things to do, specific things from specific people, progress the game, get certain loot. I think a quest system, it's the next logical step. Seeing it in Westland Survival makes sense. And then all of this story building, introducing all of these characters. I seriously think it's all going to culminate in that one thing, man. Some sort of a quest line. And that quest line, if it, I'm, I'm just telling, dude, whatever quest that those farmer dudes give, I think it makes sense for them to even go ahead and give us uh, one of whatchamacallit, one of that new gun that we saw. I think that makes a ton of sense too, but dude, just anyway, I want to be able to get that new gun because that thing looks absolutely dope. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm happy just getting uh, some more kills of these guys some new kills i should say you know I, I don't need a new gun right away i would like it eventually but in the meantime i'm very happy uh dishing out a whole new ton of death <laughs> and so these toxic spitters thinking they could take me down Boop. oh god dang it Boop. there we go we did the perfect amount of damage there i'm just gonna use the rest of this ak like it's gonna be breaking pretty soon too might as well see if we can't break it today because yeah, I, I don't know i'm just trying to get the most use we can out of it um, it is not broken yet, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to try and kill this frenzy giant over here. Hopefully our lack of SWAT armor doesn't get us killed. Knowing my luck is gonna get us killed, but, uh, only time will tell, so I'll just start pumping him full of some of this collection of gold 47 lead. And there we go, now we can get, uh, pistol drizzling the bejesus out of him. As soon as he gets below 150, we need to worry about the fact he's gonna be a sprinter, and I don't like me a sprinter. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go, just gotta escape, gotta try and get him stuck on those corners so we can get a little bit of separation. A pump him full of some more lead. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go, separate him a little bit more, and see ya later. Oh, god dang, didn't give me a notebook? That's whack, dude. How you not gonna give me a notebook? Speaking of not giving me things, none of the toxic spitters today wanna give me anything for some reason, so, uh... Shouts out to you, Toxic Spitters. I guess you guys are just extra poopy today. Don't appreciate that. It's all right. My buddy, the blind one, is very consistent. He's never poopy. Besides, I mean, back in the day, he used to be poopy when he'd, like, glitch out. And uh, you have to restart the entire fight because he decided to phase through a wall and become, like, Phase Man. Uh, the, the, the superpower is phasing. I don't know, dude. Some superhero superpower is, like, phasing through walls and becoming a ghost or something. That's so he decided to become, which was a little bit problematic for us. But now, it's pretty good. He hasn't really gotten his revenge on us in a while. And we have a really nice working relationship here where I kill him, he gives me stuff, and we both end up being very, very happy campers. So hello, Mr. Blind One. Let's go ahead and uh, begin exactly that, shall we? My pupper is going to be out here helping me out a little bit. I'm going to be over here absorbing all those hits. He's going to be running into that wall, and I'm going to be shouting go to rain and 
the bejesus out of him and hopefully uh i'm not gonna be able to get that six shot off unfortunately i did kind of miss time it just a little bit but we should still be okay we're gonna be able to dish out a whole ton of damage especially with our dog kind of helping us out and boop, we might be able to get six off this time we're getting a whole ton of criticals though oh my god batman oh no 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 heals for you blind one i see you yeah though that is baffling for some reason we have become godly we're getting all the criticals in the world if uh this could happen more often i'd definitely be a happy camper let's go ahead and i think we should be able to get six off yeah dude we've gotten a lot of criticals so far i love it and oh no 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 oh you love food you love dead bodies blind one well that's cool bro but no dead body eating on my watch no 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 today and i'm the man with shotgun rain so you gotta listen to me i'm just saying all right, let's go ahead. Run into your wall there, blind one. I'm going to run some shotgun raid into your face. We're not getting as many criticals this time. Still doing pretty good. Unfortunately, our pupper did get kind of tired, which is meh. But as soon as we head back home, I mean, our pupper, we don't. Dude, that's what I love about dogs. I didn't realize this at first. I had the revelation at some point, though. But at some point, like, you don't need to give dogs treats. And shotgun rain to you, blind one. Thank you for all that stuff. But you don't need to give dogs treats. Giving a dog a treat will simply wake him back up or untire him in your current run. But the dog's energy, I guess like the dog's quote unquote stamina, for lack of a better word, is it, this is an invisible stamina, it's hypothetical stamina, whatever. Uh, that actually regenerates all the way to full every single time you go back to base. So it's not like you need treats, which are kind of hard to get. The main way to get them is through the farm and you need to have a lot of luck to do it. You can also buy them, but that's a different story. I'm trying to count mainly the free methods of doing it so that's just kind of it's it's very good because i think at first there was kind of a lot of confusion with the dog or maybe they even changed it at some point but the fact that i don't know i think it's a lot more fair that you know he gets to rest every time you go home and then he goes out has his fun does his thing you know and i'm gonna go ahead and do my thing get my swat armor back definitely pick up some of them recipes and cross my fingers that there's some c4 waiting us no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Show me what you got. Let's freaking go. And we got a chopper gas tank. Dude. This is dope. This is dope. Today's a good day, boy. Today is a good day. Okay, we got to free up a little bit of inventory room for all this goodness that we're trying to contain. Oh, me. Oh, my. I, I enjoy this thoroughly. I enjoy this a lot. Uh, I'm also going to enjoy giving you some of them dog tags, some of them chevrons, and some of those things. We're about halfway over to another floppy disk. Going to give that over there to free up some more slots. And I am going to be tossing out that tin can because uh, I can. Haha. <laughs> I see what I did there. Uh, my puns are next level. That's a giggle, dang it. Giggle or else shot could rain you. Uh, let's put some of these things away. I'm actually going to swap into the fresh SWAT armor. Eh? Ah, I'm kind of tempted to see. Uh, mm. I think there's other things we should prioritize grabbing first, and then we can just come back here, because, I mean, the bunker's not respawning for another two days. Come back here, grab the SWAT armor, have some fun with it. I think that's the power move of today. But, oh, me, oh, my, dude, a chopper gas tank, another one? That's a power move, especially with that one uh, special active skill mod lurking in the shadows for the Skull Crusher. That's going to be requiring some amount of gas tanks we don't know how many gas tanks we're gonna need i'm guessing it's gonna be one just because a gas tank is ridiculously hard to get so if you need to put it into any mod which 100 percent to make this mod you will need to put a gas tank into it because it is it's literally a gas tank on top of your sledgehammer i'm pretty sure you'll be able to set it on fire not 100 percent sure about that but it does make a lot of sense because gas tanks are filled with gas and I, th I feel like that's the main advantage of putting a gas tank on the end of your sledgehammer instead of a cinder block pretty much. A cinder block's gonna hurt a lot more than a tank of gas. However, if that tank of gas is on fire, I don't know about you, getting smacked in the face with metal that is also flaming because it's gonna be an active skill mod as well. We need to remember that. So the active skill will probably be lighting it on fire for a certain amount of time. Maybe you have to like invest some gas into it or some weird thing with that. 
it adds up so the fact that we've gotten another one is really good because we're ready if we need multiple but it's also very good to stockpile because if and when trading does come to the game let me just say the gas tank's gonna be an expensive item and having more of an expensive thing is better than having less so it's a very good thing to be working towards but for now i just gotta work my inventory towards being prepared for a little thing known as raiding so i'm gonna be doing exactly that but mm -mm. Mm, was today a good type of day to raid that actually brings our c4 total back up to two as well which is nice i was not able to get a second one uh before the video started but this will balloon us and make us a little bit more prepared for today's raid as well which is a very very nice thing but i'm gonna go ahead and get to organizing my jazz and get to talking to y'all in a sec. And with that, we are looking nice and prepared for the raid, except for one thing that we need to change, which we are going to be changing here in just a gif, and that is our formidable little attachment that we tend to have over there. Let's switch it over to this so our shotgun is doing a solid 70 damage, and I actually kind of want to put this one away. I've been contemplating it, like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, honestly, I see that we put this away. That does leave us with two partially broken weapons which will be we'll definitely be able to do some damage with it but then the question arises like oh you know like what if it breaks and stuff to which case i mean i've i've pretty solid confidence minimum if it is a good raid if it does get that far we'll be able to get like some kind of melee weapon and melee weapons if you guys don't know are silenced so we don't need to worry about them making noise except for the scythe for some reason that still needs to be fixed that thing's making damage i don't know if it's like just slices through air so efficiently it makes noise whatever the reason is it makes noise i don't think that it should be but that's besides the point also the point is that we should have plenty of hatchets over in this variety and we got some food we could bring along and yeah we're ready for the raid uh why don't we actually just go ahead let's just eat this food now get rid of the cans and now we're looking prepared let's just kind of order our stuff so yeah lowest durability is going first and these two things might actually be able to combine to break one wall one level two wall together shouldn't that happen since you do need a full iron hatchet to break a level two wall from scratch so maybe we'll be able to capitalize off of that and is that the noise of a chop oh no it's just the noise of the dealer i was about to say mr d or mr chop why do you always pop up when i'm already prepared and ready to go for a player raid which is exactly what we're doing player 7990 i hope you are scared buddy boy your time it is approaching but yeah dude i just ah, i'm telling you dude i seriously think that like a van event could be realistic where like we come across their van and maybe even the van spurs a quest you know maybe we head there and that corn dude the fact that they had corn with them when they left i don't know if that was for food or what the reason for that was i wonder if there was like a more nefarious more sinister reason i'm sure if if there is anything like that man i'm sure you guys will easily be able to come up with that i trust y'all i believe y'all and i believe and this is gonna be a pretty easy raid okie dokie hold up hold up hold up i'm definitely intrigued right away by the fact that there is a level two wall over here i feel like this is probably where we should it's probably his inner chest room that does have stuff but it looked like this guy actually had like a formidable little base going so kind of poopy to see it in such shambles man i wish uh, i mean uh i'm not complaining that this is the type of base we got at least yet if this base is filled with garbage loot then maybe there'll be a little bit complaints here and there you know but uh i don't know if we had two c4 i wouldn't mind some stone around here if it guaranteed us better loot uh but all right so we got a variety of chests we can break into let's start doing exactly that breaking into these puppies and hopefully seeing the contents hello electronic circuit get in my belly big boy let's go and get some of these mobile phones on top of that as well we got a little bit of gas into boots and nothing else really standing out so far out of that chest but no worries we got a poop a ton of chest to go and even if we run out of chest we got a couple of those workbenches which are uh, piquing my interest a little bit uh interesting stuff to have also we got the fact that these guys are gonna start running after us let's start shotgun raiding and dealing with them shotgun raid to you big boy i just love watching them fly man shotgun oh my god talk about becoming a bajillion body parts shot a gun range to you oh my god had that man doing backflips over how amazing our shotgun rain was pupper you want to there we go i was about to say you want to finish that bluta let's go ahead and maybe get a nope no critical today so i'm gonna let my doggo do a little bit more damage pupper you want to finish that bloda come on i know you can do 12 damage in a hit i believe in you i believe make it happen come on dog right there right there right there right there just there we go 
Good job, dog. That's why I love bringing this pupper along, man. It's like a free weapon we could use. Except, no, I, I love my dog more than I think of it as just a weapon. But still, the 13 damage for a limited amount of time until it decides to get tired. The dog is an investment, and it's a very good one. Because, it, I mean, you, you ain't got to be using durability with the dog. The dog just needs to, you know, go back and reset his stamina. I wish, you know what would be awesome? A follow-up update to the dog update. He might be like, Star. You madman, what are you talking about? I mean, you know, some kind of, I don't know, some, some more, maybe like level five dogs, like maybe new perks, maybe a dog armor. Dude, I'd love some dog armor. Maybe give them like, okay, starting to get a little bit unrealistic. Hear me out though, dog lasers. That's right. I want my dog to shoot laser beams out of his eyeballs. Make it happen. No, but I don't know, man. I, I can't really think of like anything weapon wise that we could give to the dog and I mean, maybe we could give it armor, and the armor could, like, make it do more damage since the dogs don't have to worry about taking damage either. So, I don't know. I just, I do think it would be cool to see a follow-up to the dog update, especially now that after the farm update, the dog update is actually a lot more accessible since the dog, dude, the farm, it just poops out dogs, man. You're pretty much getting one to two dogs every farm run, especially if that barn opens because sometimes the barn will have one within it. It's, it's honestly really nice, man. So, and then all I gotta do is really keep them fed with food. And that's just kind of like, you just gotta make sure to kill some deer, have them fed. And like, in my case, where like even your entire dog pen fills up to the brim and you're feeding it then, like you're just gonna end up with a lot of dogs. And like, sometimes you have bad luck. They won't level up when you breed them. Hello, red tickets. I like you. Like sometimes you might run across some bad luck, but I mean, for the most part, dude, as long as you have that many dogs, you're breeding them eventually, especially with how accessible it is now. The chances of getting a true friend pupper like I have here are better than ever. So it'd be kind of cool to see him expand on what a true friend pupper could do, you know? And oh me, oh my, there's a lot of enemies. I'm going to back it up a little bit here. Let's start dealing with them back here. Doggo, I hope this you're coming. We got a lot of enemies we got to take out. Okay, okay. Those dudes have been dealt with. Let's start shotgun raining these dudes. Oh no, I'm getting cut off. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's escape from that. Shotgun raid to you, abomination. We might be able to actually... Did that abomination just die? Oh no, I heard that noise that happens when they die. That dude's body parts are still all over the place. Oh, he died over there. Beautiful. Uh, well, I guess I could just go ahead. I'll get one more shot off. Doggo, would you like to finish the job on this abomination? I know you would. Marvelous stuff. And shot a good rain to the bloater. Another one. Another one. Ooh, my dog even just saved me. He was about to swing. Better, better, better. But my dog said, no, better, better, better. I, I don't know. He, he threw him out. Strike three. I, even before the pitch happened. Didn't even swing. You know, he just got called a strike. He got caught looking. That's what happened. Baseball terminology. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got two more chests over here, but then it's like inner sanctum. After this, we got those two. I kind of might want to... Okay, well, he's got a ton of grass. We got the grass collector out here. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it's because we already broke into this one. Okay, I was about to say... I thought I did it, and I'm like, why would you chop that? Um, so let's definitely try to get within this... I'm not, I'm not really, I don't know, it's not going to make a lot of noise, so it doesn't matter. And we have plenty of hatchets, and I don't think there's anything in here, period. I think literally what this is, it's just a maze. Honestly, you know what? He was probably using this as his raid bait area. So, like, the raiders would waste a ton of their resources breaking into this stuff instead of breaking into other parts of his base. That's my best guess, because, I mean... This doesn't exactly look like any room that I've ever seen. It just has a whole ton of doors everywhere. It's probably a huge variety of one by one. So not even going to bother using our resources on that. Instead, let's bother using our resources on a couple of these chests down here. We do got the one here kind of by itself. And then we got those other two that might be plotting to do something, man. Who knows? Our weapon durability. Actually, what? We just got half of this pistol. A couple of shots out of the shotgun. I'm definitely saving those shots for the bigger boys that run at us, but this pistol, I think it's got enough left in it to pretty much take out all the fast biters that are going to run at us, especially since our pupper's been helping us out, man. That's a huge thing. That's why we're doing so well with, like, usually we would not be able to last this long. Also, I can shotgun rain, you toxic abomination. God dang it. I was hoping maybe we'd have, like, one critical up in there. But yeah, I think that's why, because usually what I brought would not be enough for a raid. But I think, oh my god, let's back it up from that a little bit. Take you boys out one by one. But I, I think the fact that we did bring the dog, just the fact that he's kind of doing a little bit of damage to each of these enemies, it does save us some pistol shots every once in a while. You know, like when he's able to like finish off like an abomination or something for us with his 13 damage he's able to do. And he's not even tired. So if we wanted to be even more patient, you could keep on kiting things and just have your dog keep nipping at their heels until your dog collapses from exhaustion. So 
if you really want to be patient you'd definitely be able to do that but as you can see the dog's kind of weird like sometimes they'll like stutter step you won't attack him right away it's like he wants to catch up to you before he decides to attack him so it's a little bit odd but still the fact that he's chipping away at our health that that saves us but durability that saves us bullets which in the long run technically speaking means we come out of this raid better than we otherwise would have so i mean it's improving our raid and any way we can improve our raid i'm happy to undertake but all right we got one last chest to break into and then probably i don't mind using the rest of our noise here what you got over here chest Ooh. Honestly, compared to some of the other stuff I've seen, it's, 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 I don't know, man. Even, like, some durability on the SWAT armor is kind of a little bit more valuable than the other stuff. But let's try and find... Because we can break this down, too, and uh, level up our armor recycling. I believe that's what it is, or clothing, something like that. Uh, let's figure out what we want to take home with us, though, because I'm not sure we'd want really i guess I'm, I'm eating your food though bro no worries no worries and then once we figure out everything that we want in our inventory we're gonna break into some uh these two because i think we have enough noise yeah i'm gonna break all four of these because he did have some oak logs in one of his chests so those might be kind of you know hiding somewhere else in another chest i'm trying to kind of look through some of these chests i was i was trying to see if they have more nuts and bolts because i had like four in that oh he's got two over there I'm trying to take home full stacks of stuff, man. This, this base is a little bit, a little bit meh, a little bit meh so far. <laughs> I guess I'll grab those. I got a poop ton of stone bricks back at home. Not concerned with that. I guess these nails, cause like that's four iron hatchets worth of nails. So we kind of recuperate the crafting that we had to do before this. So I don't mind that. Yeah, that's just food and stuff. Like, yeah, at, at this point, I guess I'll grab the batteries. We could scrap those. I don't really need to level up my electronics level, but Eh, better than nothing. Yeah. Oh, no, I think we're looking. Oh, you know what we can do then? Okay, I'm, I'm going to grab this connecting rod. I kind of forgot because what you call? I haven't needed a connecting rod in a while, but they've been used in multiple recipes before. Connecting rod for sure, or acid bath for sure. Were they used in the Sector 7 recipe? I don't entirely remember, but it's going to be a good thing to stockpile, especially as more of those, like, multiple stage building slash crafting things come out. Kind of like the gunsmith bench or whatever, you know, where you had to, like, build it put it on the ground and then you had to like upgrade it into its initial form if that makes sense so I, I feel like connecting rods they've shown their worth before they've shown that they're valuable on like some items like like uh i don't really know off the top of my head like the atv wheel technically speaking that doesn't help us yet since there's no atv in the game but yeah i don't really know what to put away out of all this either i guess the oak they're probably gonna value that a good amount and we got these seven first aid kits as well did I leave those in my... No, I didn't have those when I came here. Okay, I was about to say, because I did have, when I was organizing my inventory, a stack of seven. It just stood out because seven's a lucky number, so I, I guess I'm lucky when it comes to first aid kits. But all right, let's go ahead. Let's make the rest of the noise that we're going to be making for today, and let's wrap up this raid. This base is kind of convoluted, so we should have plenty of time to get into these things, and we should be able to... Nope! A whole ton of nothing from that. And a whole ton of nothing from that. We already softened that one up with a swing. Let's hope that it's got something. Ooh, okay, we got some wood. It's better than nothing. Let's see if maybe we got some oak up in here. Nope, just more wood. So, all right. Let's get the big one. I don't want to get stuck out over here because these guys, I don't want them getting in the way and having me bam, boom, boom. No, no, no. Okay, we got to kill this toxic abomination quick. We got to kill. Oh, no, it broke. Oh, this is bad. 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 This is... Dude, are you kidding me right now? Okay, okay, hold on. I can, uh, I can maybe... Hold on, I'm gonna start trying to break stuff. Oh, please heal. Please heal. Chop down this wall. Oh, don't let me die. Don't let me die. Oh, oh, freedom. That's what I was trying to avoid. That right there is what I was trying to avoid. And somehow, we got out of that situation alive. Dear God. Oh my... I... Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have no hope heading out of that. As soon as that happened, I'm like, oh, mama. And yeah, we got, we got airdrop event too. I don't mind heading over here. We might actually get a gun since we don't have any of those. So yeah, uh, that is where maybe it would have been a better idea to have some kind of gun. That was just, the, that was just a combination of all the worst things happening. We got stuck in a hallway. All three of them were alive. Our weapon broke when we were trying to kill the dude in our way. We didn't have any more weapons, and I thought it was such a good idea. We had the doggo. Yeah, no, that backfired. <laughs>
All right, though, let's try and acquire... Oh, a little bit of death over here for the speed there. Let's go ahead and slice you with the freaking hatchet. See you later, alligator. And let's see... God dang it, we gotta kill this guy really quickly. I don't feel like healing anymore, man. So if you could not... Good stuff, pupper. Good stuff. Let's see. Does this thing have something good? C4, lenses, blueprints, guns, airdrop. You got amazing things. You have like most of the things I just mentioned besides C4. C4 would have been the dopest, but yo, good stuff, airdrop. I uh, I like what I'm seeing, a blueprint, a lens, and a gun. I think we may have gotten like one of the best airdrops we could possibly overall. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up this episode of Last Down to Survival. Can't wait to see what y'all got to say about that whole autumn shindig that we were talking about. And those three dudes, the three characters in a string of characters the Last Down Earth appears to be introducing. The backstory of it, how we may encounter them, all that jazz. Can't wait to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. But other than that, it's going to start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get the Chopper Gas Tank. Enjoy it in the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Get the true friend perk. Level up your own personal skills through going through these zones and stuff. Although this is an airdrop, so you can't level it up here. But you know what I mean. Leveling up these skills and whatnot. Not to mention, find the best blueprints for the best weapons that you can. And building up the best attachments that you possibly can as well. Best of luck building up your base. Going out on the dopest of raids. Defeating the bosses game has to throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely family fantastic time all throughout. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to the next one. See ya.